look over because the plate that I want is right there next to her. But now I'm being labeled a creep online. My wife has broken up with me. I'm being put on a sex offenders list. I'm being publicly shamed. This YouTube channel goes down from 1,381 subscribers to 1,375. Oi. Stop it. Learn some respect. Whether you are a naughty newbie or a seasoned veteran, finding the right gym is a massively important task. A task you do not want to get wrong. I've made some big mistakes in my life. Nothing compares to finding a new gym, checking it out, getting a little bit giddy, buying yourself a six month pass, and then within a week of starting, realizing that it's absolute crap. So in this video, I am gonna give you my top five things to look for when looking for a new gym to ensure that you never waste your time or your money ever again. Okay, so I'm gonna give you these in order of what I look for upon walking through the door, upon entering the gym, for the first time, except for the last one, because that's a little bit different, first thing we are gonna do is we are gonna head straight over to the dumbbell section. We are firstly gonna check what increments those dumbbells are moving up in. And secondly, more importantly, we're gonna see where they are maxing out. Seriously guys, the amount of times that I've walked into a gym and found dumbbells that max out at 25, 30 kilos, it's absolutely shocking. If you're training right, using Bobby's methods, you're gonna have outgrown that gym in three months. Even if you're starting from zero, even if you've got no arms. I think any gym that's maxing out at around 50 kilograms should be sufficient. Anything more, that's great. And in terms of increments, you're gonna want to be looking at two and a half kilos. I was in a gym a few years ago that had pretty decent increments from zero all the way up to 40. And then it just had one random pair of 50s lying on the floor. Nobody is making that leap from 40s one day to 50s the next. So as a general rule of thumb, the smaller the increments, the better. Right guys, on to number two, and as good and as great as heavy dumbbells are, let's be honest, sometimes for some exercises, they're not the most practical things. With that in mind, you're gonna wanna head over to the machine section and you're gonna wanna look for the plate loaded machines. They are gonna be your bread and butter when it comes to getting stronger and getting jacked safely. Pin loading machines are all right, they can serve a function, but if you've got a straight up choice between a gym that is mainly pin loaded versus a gym that consists of hammer strength plate loading machines, it is a no brainer. Let's sack off the bar completely. We're gonna start with the dumbbells and when that fatigue starts to set in, we're gonna head over to the hammer strength machines to continue getting jacked and not injured. Number three geezers is gonna be the price of the gym versus the facilities they offer. Now back in the UK where I'm from, most people don't have a swimming pool outside like we do here in Thailand. So joining a health club with a pool, a steam room, a sauna, that can be mighty appealing. But obviously such luxuries come with a price. Especially if the gym, the health club is including other luxuries in the package like tennis courts, spin classes, lap dances, whatever you can think of, that is gonna whack that price right up. Me, I don't give a crap about any of that. I like my gyms for one thing and that is getting jacked. I expect a decent price and for that price, I don't expect a lot. I want it to be relatively clean. More popular pieces of equipment like a Smith machine, I would prefer there to be more than one. And most importantly, I want all of the equipment, all the dumbbells, all of the everything to be in good working order. I feel like that's a bare minimum request of a gym, but the amount of times that I've been on a treadmill and it starts juddering under my feet, I go on a hack squat that doesn't seem to have been oiled since 1996. It barely moving despite having five or six plates on either side. Genuinely shocking. So as long as everything's maintained, as long as everything's taken care of, I'll be a happy boy. But one more bonus tip guys, and I shouldn't have to say this. Always check out the toilet. You know the feeling, right? Sometimes you've done a couple of heavy sets. Your body's been feeling that pressure. Suddenly nature calls. You head over, big smile on your face, some music in your ear. You think, I'm gonna absolutely clear my body out and I'm gonna go back over there 
and I'm gonna do the best workout of my life. You walk into the bathroom, there's no toilet paper, there's no toilet seat, there's shit everywhere. You know that you are now gonna have to do the rest of your workout holding it in. Unforgivable in my opinion, enough to put me off any gym completely. Right, number four, down to the final two here, guys. They're kind of a little bit related. What I am gonna recommend you do, and I think most people are gonna know this anyway, you're gonna have a little walk around, you're gonna get a feel for the atmosphere of the gym, especially if you can, at the time you plan to train. If you're planning on training at five o'clock in the afternoon, you're gonna to wanna to see it at five o'clock in the afternoon. Feel of the atmosphere, guys. I have been in some hyper aggressive gyms. Way too much testosterone flying around. They are not a very nice place to be in, guys. I've been in gyms where everyone seems pissed off. Everyone seems wound up. Everyone is staring at each other. And Jesus Christ, when I start singing along with Gangnam Style mid-set. Open Gangnam Style. The amount of eyes and tension that I feel on me, oh, it sends a shiver down my spine. On the contrary, I have been in gyms, particularly some of those health club style gyms, that feel like a library, or even worse, and I'm sorry to say this, a nursing home. A load of old boys, a load of old girls, going through the motions, suddenly I come in, jacked out my skin, to bash out a set on the leg press, and I'm actually looking over at little old Mrs. Higginbottom there, slowly rotating the wheels on the bicycle, and I'm thinking, if I go into intense mode here and cry out, <laughs> I'm gonna give her the shock of her life, the poor old thing. You know, what gym atmosphere will suit you. You should be able to get a feel of it. Sometimes we can find it to a T, sometimes we can't. And at the end of the day, guys, we shouldn't really be letting other people, other gym members, dictate our own personal experience now. Should we? Number five, yes, we should. This is a modern day tip, and you're probably quickly gonna be able to figure out what it revolves around. Looking at your new gym, when you go home, before you sign up, I'm gonna check one more thing. You're gonna go on Instagram, you're gonna go into the search bar, you're gonna search the gym, you're gonna tap the location, and you are gonna check out the clientele that is posting from that gym. How you interpret that is completely up to you. Maybe your favorite social media influencer is in there posting some really motivational shit. Maybe the hottest booty chick in your town is in there bending over in front of the camera. Maybe there's a load of guys walking around your gym making those hidden camera videos where they try to identify gold digger women or they sit down and sing to strangers using a guitar. Now for me, if I see any of that shit, I am throwing up more red flags than a Chinese Communist Party anniversary celebration. I don't mind social media, guys. I'm on social media, but I don't want to be pussyfooting around in the gym while some guy's got his camera set up making some pointless motivational crap. And I definitely don't want to be caught in the background when some chick has got her camera on wide angle mode, she's bending over in front of the camera. Look over because the plate that I want is right there next to her, but now I'm being labeled a creep online, my wife has broken up with me, I'm being put on a sex offenders list, I'm being publicly shamed. This YouTube channel goes down from 1,381 subscribers to 1,375. I do not want that. Last but not least, guys, no matter how talented they are, no matter how sad my face may be, I do not want a guy with a guitar coming up and offering to sing me a song by Shawn Mendes. I don't even know who Shawn Mendes is to cheer me up. Maybe some Bon Jovi, maybe some Brian Adams. Maybe that would cheer me up. I do not want you to sing Shawn Mendes to me. Leave me alone. Hey, and listen, I'm not trying to call everyone out here. Friendly influencers, you know, the really friendly influencers, they're fine. Normal people who want to make their fitness content, like me, they're absolutely fine. All those toxic cockroaches in there with the cameras, trying to exploit other people for likes. You know who you are. Stop it. Stop it. Oi. Stop it. Learn some respect. That is it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like. Comment something down below. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Have a great day, guys. If I don't see you, have a nice Christmas. And until the next one, my friends, bye-bye. <laughs>